back. Yay. This is P. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe now. That way you can stay up to date with all my latest unboxing and review videos. Today is Tuesday, November the 8th, 2022. Time to go vote. If you're 18 or older, U.S. citizen, go ahead and vote for your rights today. Um, that way, hopefully, whoever you vote for might can make a change on some of the policies, laws, and regulations that you want. So, yeah, get up, vote, make sure you're registered, hopefully. But, yeah, and also, along with that, take a break at lunchtime. It's Taco Tuesday. Yay! Go ahead and um, get you some tacos, whether it's chicken, beef, steak, or maybe you had the breakfast burrito this morning or get ready to have it. But either way, enjoy your day. Hope all is good. Hopefully if you're in school or university, it's an option for a taco bar or something like that so you can hit it and celebrate Taco Tuesday. Along with that, we're going to celebrate the unboxing of some of these sneakers. Um, we got three pair that we're going to unbox. And once again, if you're new to the channel, um, definitely uh, subscribe. Definitely get the notification. That way you'll have an alert on your mobile device whenever we upload new content. And for my day one YouTube subscribers, I definitely appreciate the love and support. We started the channel in 2014, unboxing and giving first impressions on sneakers, apparel, electronics, supplements, accessories, all types of items and products that we order or pick up. So, but it's primarily a sneaker channel, I would say. Every now and then we get some vlogs, of, uh, workouts, it's been a while on those. Hopefully we'll be bringing some of those soon uh, to complement the supplements that we unbox and review a little bit. But um, lately it's been about the sneakers, um, just based on schedule, work schedule. Um, but hopefully we'll get into some of those more products going towards the holiday season. That way it can help um, give you guidance for things you may want to pick up for gifts or um, Christmas or things like that. So yeah. And if anything, hopefully it's entertaining, informational, educational, uh, especially if you're new to the sn sneaker culture and community. Um, yeah, so today is going to be all about Nike. But before that, let's go over a few of the releases today. Um, Nike is going to release, and when I say this and you're new to the sneaker culture and what releases mean, um, traditionally you used to get a sneaker release usually on Saturdays, but in the last decade, last five years the sneaker releases from different brands throughout the week and uh, luckily I've been off of work on Tuesday to sort of focus on some of these releases um, right now the popular releases are gonna be your Jordan 1's your 4's your 11's going into the holiday season and with Nike brands specifically the Donk Low the Donk High some SB Donks those are the popular ones um, and a few other um, uh, collaborations that's releasing as well like we're looking at the trophy sevens um, trophy room sevens and we're also looking at some dunks that's releasing today and some Jordan one lows or Zion Williams um, with the New Orleans Pelicans got the voodoo dunks coming out to represent Louisiana so check those out and also um, I think on some other retail sites there's going to be the all pink or fuchsia dunk low for um, the women. So yeah, check those out as well. Those are a few. And of course, keep your eyes open for restocks. Restocks mean um, they're uploading and releasing sneakers as previously released due to maybe council orders, maybe returns, or whatever the case is. Maybe they space them out to try to break them up a little bit. So keep your eyes open for those. And also, you want to keep a lookout for members' access to some of the most craved Jordan releases um, that's getting ready to release, such as the Lost and Found Jordan 1, the Jordan 1 um, Golf uh, collaboration that's releasing, I think it's called Eastside Golf. And also, maybe um, some early access, even though they're dropping Friday, for the Women's Jordan 11 um, in the blue colorway. I forgot the exact title for it, but be on the lookout for those. Um, especially if you've been taking a lot of L's, you got your money saved, you got your money stacked, or you 
run a store or business or boutique, I definitely want to um, get as much information on these releases and have your notifications on if possible. Or make sure that your team is aware of that um, so you can get the stock in, the inventory in, get everything tagged, listed, and advertised. Yeah, so let's see what's in this first box, which is, I already know what it is, um, but I gotta see. Okay, so the name of this company is called Feature, and um, let's see what it ship from. Las Vegas, Nevada. So shout out to everyone in Las Vegas. Shout out to my Las Vegas Raiders. Even though uh, we're taking nonstop L's, we have plenty of talent. It could be between the quarterback, the coach. Comment below what you think. If you're a fan of the NFL, or you're an analyst, or, or one of those guys that's like a diehard Raiders fan. Uh, some of you ladies out there too. What do we need to do? We just lost to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Seem like we just can't close out the game even when we're up. So I don't know what we gotta do. But anyway, shout out to uh, Feature. Uh, check them out. I found them on Instagram. And this is a pickup that I've had before, uh, but it's gonna be in the same family of releases that we're we'll showing today. So we have the Nike box, and the tangerine orange, with Nike and white with the white swoosh. And the label, the content label, it's a Nike Dunk High Retro, white, black, total orange, size nine and a half in men's. And you definitely already know what it is because it's in the title. And this is going to be the Dunk High Panda, or black and white. And I went with true to size, nine and a half, which I suggest if you're purchasing dunks, lows, or highs to go true to size. I know sometimes with some of these releases, restocks, they sell out quick in your size. If you go a half size down, um, if you're wearing them for a long period of time, who knows how comfortable may, they may be depending on the surface that you're on or that you're active on or walking because we're talking sneakers, which are athletic shoes and the dunk represents um, basketball um, NBA in the early 80s like 1984 1985 so this model has emerged once retro I would say in the last three to four years non-stop the low top and the high top version it's popular it fits well with the jeans it's trending especially the Panda Dunk Low, which is the same color blocking as this one. When we say, when we speak of color blocking, that term means the blocking of the black and white, like usually like a team color with the dunks uh, to represent a sport or a team color. But with the black and white, it's more so like a casual wear um, sneaker because it matches good with everything, black, white typically goes with every color combination so where we're in the fall you're wearing your slim fit black jeans ladies or men throw the flannel on and black and white black white and orange black white and red any of those combinations black white white and yellow and um, you're going to get the same vibe it matches up pretty good now let's take a look at the outsole which is flat and typical of an early 80s sneaker, no matter what the brand was at the time, they're all gonna have the same um, similar look. Whether it's Nike, Converse, Reebok, Adidas, because of the way that the style was, the designers, um, and figuring out a basketball sneaker as we see how this looks from 84 to 85 it looks good now casually but um, the ergonomics the technology of it um, to play a sport all right so you got black on the outsole white black in the toe area the toe box is perforated for a little bit of breathability and the color blocking transitions to white the black swoosh going around the heel, the back pull tab, 
you know, the medial side with the black swoosh as well. So everything's identical on both sides. Your tongue. And your tongue. Ticket. Label with Nike and the swoosh and black. So the tongue is white, black flat laces. And when you see in the title, total orange, the only orange is that you're gonna get the inside of the lining is going to be black with the insole black and Nike and total orange in the footbed or insole. Hopefully that's picking up pretty good. Now let's talk comfort of the dunk once again flat outsole. Uh, I think maybe the insole is more modern, but if you're worried about arch, heel support, or the ball of your foot, everything is flat. And if you're doing a lot of activities or movements, or you want to half size up, expect over time to uh, receive creasing in this area right here, especially. We're gonna talk materials. This is just gonna be your smooth, I guess, synthetic leather. Um, nothing premium about it. They do make a premium version of this sneaker um, with more premium materials. Did they retro here and there? I think a few weeks ago, Nike released the premium version. Same color blocking, but way better leather materials. So keep your eyes open for those if you want these to kick around in and maybe the premium to really wear out casually with your fly fits, your fire pepper fits. All right, so this is the Panda High. One difference is um, a lot of people ask how can you tell the difference in the men's and women's. The women's have Nike Arrow or the swoosh, something in the tab here or the label, the tongue label is going to be red. It's either the Nike, the swoosh, something up here in the tongue will be red. So that's how you can tell the difference. But other than that, it's the same shoe. So male or female, if you want a black and white high, unless somebody, maybe you're a student in school where all your friends notice every little detail and like, oh yeah, you got the women's high. No, it's the same shoe basically. So. And these retail for $135 plus tax. So that's if you get them for, if you purchase them through Nike online or in store. Um, good luck trying to get these in store. Some boutiques are having these um, retailing, reselling for $170, $190, $200. Um, one thing about the dunk is next year I think we're going to get a retro on the Jordan 1 high. The black and white which was last released in 2014 or 15 I don't think they released again I remember taking the L on them then and they had the same regular smooth leather hopefully it's more premium but it's gonna look identical um, except you're gonna have the wings logo up here and a few other details but that's one thing about the Jordan 1 highs uh, check out some of my videos and comparisons it's basically the same thing as a dunk because they came out the same year. Jordan signed a deal with Nike, put the Wings logo on it. So I think that's one thing about the dunk highs. They satisfy the crave for Jordan 1 at a lower price point. When these release, like this high top is 125 or 135 versus 179, 190, you know, and you still get the same look as the black and white Jordan 1 and it matches with everything. That's an example. So I'm basically the same shoe, they're both highs, but yeah. And we'll get a close up real quick on these. These are great for spring, summer, fall, early winter, but not on an ice cold snow day unless you got three pair of thermal socks on to stay heated. Keep your feet warm so you don't catch a cold. Say what?
dunk high, stay fly. All right, so that was the Panda Dunk High. You already see in the title that we have some more dunks. Hopefully you're enjoying the video. Pause it if you need to go get some snacks. Get you some of those tacos or nachos for Taco Tuesday. Or at least the taco, uh, if you can find them, flavored Doritos. Uh, yeah, All right, so this is going to be from Finish Line. And nine and a half once again. And we're gonna have the white and cargo khaki colorway. Same box, of course. The only way the box is gonna be different Sometimes uh, for the dunk highs is if it's a collab or um, when I say a collab with a, another brand or another um, group of individuals that's putting an extra touch on the sneaker with their name stamped to it. And usually those are more limited. Usually they have premium materials and that's when you're going to get more than a traditional box. But that doesn't mean that the colorway isn't fire, but don't expect premium materials. If it doesn't say premium on the tag or um, SC as in special edition. So also nine and a half and this converts to a size 11 in women's. So let's put the lid, snag the paper down without tearing it of course. All right. So I ordered these several weeks ago. And these came in right in time for autumn for the fall. Again, these are going to be your cargo khaki, cargo khaki colorway, which I think, you know, it's going to be your basic forest green almost slash olive. So we'll go dark forest green and white. If they did a premium version and added like some off white instead of this white, make it materials plush, that would be crazy. But I still like how they're creative with these different colorways. And this is still a great colorway for fall, for autumn. Especially when you're wearing more of your greens, your darker colors, your greens, your maroons, your burnt oranges, your browns, your plums, those type of colors. If you're into following uh, the fashion for the fall flannels and it, it's not like spending a lot of cash like, of course when we're talking these sneakers they are expensive I mean this is $125 sneaker with tax $135 um, if you go to a boutique you're paying more than that so you got to be selective if you're on a budget um, if you're able um, to as a consumer to purchase one pair in the fall one in the spring one in the summer one back to school it's just if you want a few in your collection. So you have to be selective. Um, but yeah, at this price point, you don't have to spend a lot for the fits. Random Marshalls, Ross, TJ Maxx, especially Marshalls, because most of them are flooded with flannels and plaids, easy to match up with, still look clean, especially after you wash them and you iron them that crisp, maybe a toboggan or something like that. You're still representing with a dunk and uh, whatever pants that you want to wear with it, whatever your vibe is. But it's going to be basically the same exact color blocking as the Panda High. So the outsole is going to be in this cargo khaki, almost like army tank, like your little army plastic soldiers when you was a kid, that type of color. White, dark green, White in the toe box with preparation. Color blocking white with the green that wraps around. The heel as well. And your cargo khaki green flat laces. And this time on the insole, the inside of the shoe is the dark khaki green, but the insole is white with a total orange swoosh, and that's it. So while we're at it, let's go ahead and do a quick side-by-side -side comparison. 
with the panda duck. Both of these are men's colorways. And I know some of you collectors out there are watching uh, and you're getting all the different colors. You got them lined up in your closet or against the wall on your shelves. I think it's bad luck to have sneakers under your bed, that's what they say. But I know a lot of individuals still do for space or to hide them. But yeah. And keeping these shoes um, clean, you basically um, can get some type of sneaker cleaner or spray or a light um, water and soap solution to keep the insoles clean, white and crisp. Or use the shout. The shout doesn't um, have any strong ingredients that will damage the leather, but definitely effortlessly. Um, get your shoes clean. Try to avoid wearing them under yellow dirt, uh, dirt basketball court in your friend's backyard. Unless you have plenty of these, or you're gonna uh, upload a video of how to clean your sneakers. But everything's identical except for the inside with the insole of the panda being black and the insole being white. And this one has having the Nike Air swoosh and this one just having a swoosh. Okay, so if you get both of these and you got on your black, white, and green plaid flannel you're just having fun you're gonna actually wear one on the left side and one on the right side at nighttime just to see if anybody notice hey but one thing you could do is a lace swap if you want to make these pop one day depending on what you're wearing put these laces in this sneaker or darken these to make them pop a little bit with the black laces who knows if you have both there. But in this quick versus battle, shout out to Swiss Beats and Timberland for making it happen. Um, or you could team Cargo Khaki. Or just keep it clean and go hard with something that matches with everything. With the Panda. For me, I like the uniqueness this colorway for the fall but if I had to pick one and on the budget I'm going with the black and white it matches with everything they're the same materials so for me if black and white is a 9.7 I had to get this one um, a 9.4 as far as colorway all right so we'll give a quick close-up This one. The medial side. Now you got the army fatigue on with these. Bet. Let's go. You know what? Find you the laces, the camo laces. Let's do a lace swap. So what? Uh, all right, so last but not least, we have one more dunk from finish line as well. Now this one is a premium, so I'm glad you watched the whole video. So we'll know the difference. And um, actually, this is from Nike. So this is going to be your women's Nike Dunk High Premium MF and Pachetta Tan. So this time it's a women's, but it's going to be the same size because the women's is up top in size 11 and men's in nine and a half. So let's check it out. Same box though. Sometimes the premium boxes be different, but this time it's the same. Oh man, I thought these was gonna be leather. 
new buck material. Whoa. Get out of here. Man, I'm glad I got these. So I was talking to my friend, shout out to Philip, yesterday, and he don't get that. Nike Duck High Premium. The, the um, Cheddar Tan. The women's sneakers with some of their colors be more fire. And like this is great for the fall once again with this Vanchetta tan. Y'all need to check out my Vanchetta tan and look up, go back and find these Air Force Ones I got. They're not the regular Vanchetta tan, they're like a, um, the Vanchetta is going to be more like a um, hyper premium, super limited leather, but yeah. All right, so we'll start from the outsole, which is gonna be Bachata Tan. And I'm glad they didn't do it all tan and gave a hit of the white going to the upper. Smooth premium materials. This is what I'm talking about. And this is all one solid color. The swoosh is actually leather. So you're gonna get new buck material, which is a short hair um, suede still in the leather family preparations flat laces this isn't a super super premium sneaker but it's still considered a premium um, and the swoosh wraps around to the medial side and the tongue this time is going to be leather with the little tab up top Nike and the swoosh These are Nike with a few sizes left. So if you're looking for something tan, it's easy to match, or you really want to look casual on a casual day with some khakis, but still let them know that you have a sneaker collection that's thorough. Have these on for a slight touch. 1985 model. This colorway is new for 2022 along with um, the cargo khaki, I think it's new for 2022. If this was a low cut, your heads would be going crazy, your sneaker heads. But trust when I say the materials is premium. Um, this was 135, 125 or 135 straight from Nike and of course we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison and we'll start with the cargo khaki just to show that the women's is the exact same size yeah shout out to my friend Philip. he don't mess with the women's sneakers just like the Jordan blue and white I said they're blue and white they're dropping Friday they're universal I mean they're unisex basically like if I didn't tell you this sneaker was women's, you would never know. So go with what you like, visually. The comfort is gonna be the exact same. Well, it may be a little bit different um, around your foot based on the materials and the cushion on the inside of this one is different than the inside of this one. And you're gonna have um, Nike with a swoosh, subtle, with the bachata color on the inside. All right, so quick versus battle, hands down. This one gets to 9.9, .9, and this one drops a little bit more to 9.2 versus this one. But comment below which one you like the most. Bachata. Sometimes I say Vanchetta, but it's Bachata. Tan. Look at the stitching and details. Right. Now let's compare it to the Panda High. 
same size, of course. All of these are the same size. All right, so still easier to match with, but um, overall, I'm gonna have to give the quality control to this pair. Now, if I had the premium version of these, and they come with like little gold clips and different things like that on them, and I did a comparison, that could sway the decision because the black and white would be easier to match up with, but I would still have to see those in person. And unfortunately, I don't have those yet. One of my friends got the low top version, Shout out to Jay Buggy, supporting the movement. Ju dollar sign one zero. All right, so that basically wraps it up. So we have a combination of three 2022 sneakers. Whoa, put it right there for safety. Hope you enjoyed the video. Comment below which one is your favorite. If you're seeking to get these, all of them, or you already have them, or you have them on the way. Um, also, comment below if this is your first pair of sneakers that you bought for yourself, for brand name sneakers. We're talking East Coast, Midwest, South, West Coast, Worldwide, South America, Canada, Europe, Africa, London, all of that, Australia, Alaska, Antarctica, I feel like this may be a first pair for some of you guys. Keep it moving on that note. Close up, like, comment, share, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is P. Um, in the background, you're checking out DC Comics Star Girl. You can check it out on the CW app and the Injustice League Society. Sapna Amendment, Grundy, Our Man, Wildcat, Stripey, Shade, Clipso. All the ones fighting for good and the ones that are villains, the gambler. Yo, 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 what's going on? Quack, 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 quack. Quack. Big shot.